Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and a very warm welcome to the Business and Local Government Data Research Center 2018 conference with the theme Bringing Data to Life for Policy and uh, Practice. My name is Maria Fasli, and I'm the director of the center. So um, I'm delighted to see so many of you here today uh, because this is an important event in the life cycle of our, of our project. Technologies have always been reshaping our economic, social, and cultural environments, but more recently, we have seen the speed of change and impact rapidly increasing. These phenomenal changes are fueled by the proliferation of data and the advances in computational technologies. We are at the dawn, I think we can all agree, of a new industrial revolution the fourth industrial revolution, where the digital, physical, and biological worlds are converging. It is a revolution on how we do business, how we deliver public and private services, but also on how we relate with each other. And data are bringing about a new scientific revolution as well. But it is more than this. Data are also shaping the way that we look at things, how we understand the world around us, and even what it means to be human. Data are a force of disruption and innovation shaping us and our future. The Economic and Social Research Council funded Business and Local Government Data Research Center, for short, a BLGDRC, was founded in January 2014 as one of the major research councils, council investments in the cross-section of social sciences research, big data and analytics. The center brings together academic expertise from the universities of Essex, East Anglia, Kent, and the London School of Economics to help businesses and public sector organizations use data more effectively, enable better decision making, and support organizations to solve real problems. BLG DRC as such occupies a unique position in the big data and analytics national landscape. We focus on the needs and socioeconomic factors that affect the prosperity, the prosperity and well-being of citizens in local communities, but in an era of global change. The center is multidisciplinary and involves business analysts, social care researchers, computer scientists, business and finance experts, and statisticians. The research has comprised four streams, local economic growth, support for vulnerable people, mapping green infrastructure, and methodologies for analytics and big data. The center works closely with external stakeholders and delivers an integrated outreach program involving a range of activities designed to engage with businesses and public sector organizations incrementally. The integrated outreach program couples, our, uh, couples knowledge exchange activities with training and uses the insights from the research that we have been undertaking and our projects, um, therefore connecting research with real world problems and facilitating greater impact of the socioeconomic uh, as well as the methodological research that we undertake. Our network of partners plays a pivotal role in our work, providing a forum for fostering a two-way exchange of good practice and research ideas between academics and, and external organizations whose operations can benefit from the analytics, the big data techniques, and the insights that our research has been delivering on the socioeconomic side of things. Since the inception of the center, however, we have seen further and rapid developments in the area of artificial intelligence. BLG DRC is in, an, in, in alignment and directly supports the government's industrial strategy and key ambition for the UK to be at the forefront of the data revolution and the development and embedding of AI technologies across all sectors, including the public sector, and addressing the challenge of the UK becoming a data-driven economy and being at the cutting edge of AI. The very fabric of our society is changing through the development and adoption of ever more sophisticated data-driven techniques, but I would say in unanticipated ways. Our societal structures, institutions, legal and ethical frameworks need to adapt to the new environment so that we can both benefit as individuals and society, but also be safeguarded from the potential misuses and abuses of our data and application of advanced analytics techniques. As society, we are not geared up yet for these fundamental changes. 
And as a center, we believe that we need multi and interdisciplinary approaches to address these challenges and ensure that data and advanced analytics and technologies are used for the benefit of all. The center has been successful in securing additional funding for another three years, and we will start the new phase of our work in April 2019. We look forward to continuing to build on the successes of the project and work with our existing partners, but also extend our membership of partners. We have an exciting program for our conference over the next two days, which will showcase work from all our research streams, and we hope you find it useful and informative. But as you can appreciate, this represents just a snapshot of the work that we have been undertaking. Nevertheless, we hope we can give you a flavor of our work, spark your interest further, and also stimulate interesting conversations among academics, researchers, users, and stakeholders. There will be opportunities for questions, but also discussion both within sessions, but also during the breaks and networking uh, sessions that we have. I would like to thank my colleagues and fellow academics and researchers in the center for contributing to the conference with their work. The success of this event is down to them. But an event of this scale would not have been possible without the efforts of the center staff who have worked tirelessly to look after every detail of the organization. My sincere thanks to Nigel Kirby, our project manager, Lynn Loring, our executive officer, Paul Pierce Couch, our publicity coordinator, Laura Brooks and Aaron Bowater, both outreach and engagement coordinators, George Kent, our project office administrator, and last but not least, Saba Lutun, who is the executive officer from the University of Essex for the Institute for Analytics and Data Science. I would also like to acknowledge the support of the four universities in the organization of this event. Now, enough um, of me talking. I'm truly delighted to open the conference and welcome you all. I look forward to meeting and talking to you as many as possible in the course of the next days, and I hope you enjoy our event. Without any further delay, I think we can now start with the formal program. <laughs>